Hi and welcome back to Classified Life. I'm Denisha and today we're doing a prep video for the upcoming Live Sew Along on April 28th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm doing a beginner friendly series for sewing swimwear and I'm starting off with a one piece from Edgewater Ave called the Poppy. Okay, so today we're going to go over everything that you're going to need for the Live Sew Along and everything that you should already have prepped before we get to April 28th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because that is a live sew along. So we will not be doing any prep the day of. We will be sewing at 2 p.m. sharp. But before we get into our prep video, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any updates. Okay, everybody back? Let's get started. First things first is you're going to need the pattern. You can purchase this from Edgewater Avenue. I do have a code for you all to save. Use code CLASSIFIED right here on the screen. And I will have this linked in the caption for you guys so that you can easily find this swimsuit pattern. It does come in two different coverages. So you can have the cheeky coverage or the full coverage. I will be cutting out the cheeky coverage, but the pattern comes with both options, okay? So you can cut both and then decide before you get to your fabric. Next, you'll need one yard of swim fabric. This one is from Blue Moon. I will also provide a link to this fabric if you're interested in this one. And they have so many options over on Blue Moon. There's also a code for you all to save in the caption. You're welcome. Next, you'll need your cutting tool of preference, okay? Whether it's electric scissors, a rotary cutter, or shears for your fabric. And then of course you'll need scissors to cut your paper pattern. And if you know, you know, you don't mix these two up, okay? This is never for paper. This is really not for fabric. I mean, you could if you want to, but you should really get yourself some good shears, okay? For your fabric. And then next we have our pattern weights so that when it's time to cut our fabric, we can use our pattern weights to hold down our pattern on the fabric so it doesn't shift. Um, I just use the largest size washers that I could find. You can get them at your local Lowe's or Home Depot. I will also link some below. And then your thread. If you're going to be using your sewing machine, because not everybody has a serger and that's fine, I recommend getting some coordinating thread for your sewing machine to go with your project. I will be using Seraflex from Mettler. This is a new thread um, for me, and I got it because the thread actually has stretch in it, and I can just sew with a straight stitch and not have to zigzag. But if you're sewing with regular thread, that's okay. You'll just want to use a zigzag stitch so that your fabric has some give and can stretch without the seams popping, okay? And then if you're going to be using your serger, you'll want to have four coordinating cones of thread to go with your project. And you could just serge instead of using your sewing machine. Now, if you're using a serger, I do have a recommendation for you. If you don't already have an elastic foot, I advise you to invest in an elastic foot for your serger because it makes it so much easier to put your thread in the seam, or I'm sorry, it makes it so much easier to sew your elastic into the seams at the same time while you're serging your project because you will just feed the elastic into this foot and it will go through the same time as your project. I'll insert a clip so you guys can see how the elastic foot works. I highly, highly, highly recommend. It changed my life. I had it and I just didn't even know. So I would even check any presser foot kit that you might have already bought to see if you have one already, like I did, <laughs> and then put that on your machine, okay? Of course, you'll need tape to put together our PDF pattern or glue stick, whatever your preference is. And that is where we're gonna start. We're gonna start with putting together our pattern, cutting out our fabric, and then you will be set. I would advise you to set up your machine beforehand. It could be the day of, whether you're gonna use your serger or sewing machine, just make sure it's already threaded and ready to go and have your elastic on hand. I do purchase my quarter inch rubber elastic from Edgewater, which is where you'll be getting the pattern. I absolutely love, love, love 
the patterns over there. Those are my favorite swimwear patterns. And I only source my elastic straight from Katie. So Edgewater Ave has your needs. You will need quarter inch elastic, swimwear elastic. And my preference is rubber. So that's what I have. And this is what the pattern will look like once we have it all put together. This is piece number one. This is going to be your front piece. You will be cutting two of these. And then if you're doing the cheeky coverage like I am, number two will be your cheeky coverage and you will also be cutting two of these. But if you are doing the full coverage, you will want to cut number three. Okay, so again, the pattern pieces are labeled with the numbers. So one, two, and three. All right, so let's get started. All right, so you will need your pattern pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and take all my pieces out for piece number one. And we'll start with that. And I'm gonna set these to the side. Piece number one. Again, if you are new to PDF patterns and you need to see a slowed down version of putting one together, go check out my video, or if you just need a refresher and then come back and we'll get started. And then the other side, I'm gonna put it the other side together and then tape it straight down. So I'm gonna set this to the side, start over, top of the strap, we need I, I, and then it'll be J, and then it will be K, and then L. And then I'm going to just go ahead and cut this one straight down so I can overlap it onto this one. All right, and then just take the two together. Overlap. I'll go back and add more tape where necessary, but for now, just quickly getting it together, I'll line it up and tape it down. 
cut your size out, I will be cutting out a medium. And I'm going to do number two for the cheeky view. If you want full coverage, you want to tape together pattern piece three and cut that out in your size. Next up is cutting out your fabric. I like to cut one piece at a time so that it doesn't shift and I know that my pieces are cut correctly because this fabric can be a little slippery. So it's just better to do one at a time. My salvage edge going that way. And I'm going to start with the back piece. Lay it down. You can also opt to do two different fabrics if you want to, because this is going to be a reversible swimsuit. So I recommend doing like a print on one side, a solid on the other side, or two prints, two solids, whatever floats your boat. But you do not have to use the same print on both sides or the same color on both sides, because it will be reversible and you can end up with two swimsuits instead of one. I'm gonna use my rotary cutter and I'm gonna go ahead and put my pattern weights down. I will just demonstrate cutting out one piece, but again, you'll need two of the front and two of the back. All right, guys, so that is it for our prep video. Last thing I want you guys to make sure that you do before Sunday at 2 p.m., April 28th, is to thread your machine. Whether you're going to use your serger or your sewing machine or both, just have them ready. And also, if you are using a serger, don't forget to check out the elastic foot because this is a game changer, okay? Make sure you have your quarter inch elastic ready to go. I purchased mine from Edgewater Ave. Same place you're going to be purchasing the poppy pattern. So I have cut a front and a back and I'm going to wait for my other fabric to arrive because I want my swimsuit to be reversible and I will cut another front and another back and I'll be ready to go. Okay, so make sure you come back on April 28th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and sew with me. We're all going to be on the beach this summer in our handmade swimsuits. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon.